it's Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my updated toy collection tour. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Lau. I'm a vintage toy collector, I'm also a cosplayer, I'm a Star Wars fan, I'm a Disney fan, so lots of things, but lately my channel has been all about my vintage toy collection and right in the back you can see like my main wall here this is also where I usually like sit down at about like this <laughs> height and um, film my videos when I'm doing toy unboxings and um, you know things about My Little Pony because like My Little Pony generation one is my main collection um, but I've branched out like um, into like some newer toys like some newer My Little Pony generations but also like Polly Pocket, um, Lady Lovely Locks, Keepers, all those things mainly vintage girls toys from the 80s and 90s that's what I'm like gravitating towards and I did my last collection tour where I really like showed shelf by shelf what I have and how I display it etc and I filmed it in August and I think I uploaded it last year in September or so it took me a while I hope uh, it doesn't take uh, so long until like I upload uh, this video because I want to get it out since you know a toy collection like changes quite rapidly when you are an active collector and I am an active collector so right now I cannot go out hunting because like nothing's open like no no flea markets no thrift stores whatsoever so I buy the bulk of everything right now online but I'm still going strong and um, right now I'm at a point where I already have some new things that I haven't opened up on camera and which are not put into all of this display and I'm getting problems where to put it so probably after the next unboxing I'm going to change again um, I have some new ideas but this video is going to be all about how it is right at the moment so I hope you're having fun with that it will be a long video it's like most of my videos are probably as you've noticed very long and um, I know that there are people out there who say like oh that's not so good but there are also people out there uh, enjoying long videos so grab a cup of tea or, or a coffee uh, or some chocolate whatever sit down and watch this um, as I'm going through my vintage toy collection so I guess first of all what you should know is that I don't have a dedicated collection room I have my toy collection in my living room because I just have a two room apartment and um, I use this room for like everything that's my couch that's my TV um, there's my working desk because I'm working in home office since like last year March or whenever the pandemic started and I still I also have my toy collection in here so usually I don't have the lights <laughs> up because that I just have when I'm filming videos but since I'm filming right now, I have them up. So let's start over here. This is a simple Billy bookcase which houses most of my more or less a little bit more modern toys because I'm a huge My Little Pony fan. So that also means I am not like super hardcore, but I also collect the other generations. So let's start here at the top where like um, my the, the other bulk of my generation 4 pony collections living though so it's still like the top row is uh, like the royal size so the princesses cadence etc etc then here we have like a lot of the normal ones so I'm like it is mixed up with the reboot ones like this rainbow dash and the original um, poses so I don't separate them I just put them wherever uh, it looks best and this row is like I would say like the main six plus the cutie mark crusaders and you know rarity so I have them up there these are new I, I got them in my advent calendar this year and I know that this one goes to Pinkie Pie and this one goes to Rainbow Dash so that's why they are there so one shelf uh, below that there are like all of my blind bag ponies generation 4 like on this this is a um, like nail polish shelf riser but like flipped upside down that's why it doesn't have like these these clear plastic things here but it's just like a like a stairs um, and yeah some other uh, brushables like this plumette with my wings in the back and my lonely three um, uh, equestria girls minis which I just when I find them at flea markets I take them with me um, also all of this found at flea markets 
also this like everything is kind of thrifted flea marketed or from from lots so nothing is bought new from from these although they are still kind of like newish toys one um one row below here there you can see it is like half half like left side is still generation 4 my little pony and the right side is my um Poopsie Slime Surprise, uh, Sparkly Critters, and one of these, what were they called, those um, Fantasy Friends, I think they were called, this mermaid in the back. Um, this is a toy line I uh, like from, this is a very new toy line, so, um, which I really like, but still most of it is from flea markets or thrift stores, like only the, um, the one right in the back, the star one, is like a new one that I unboxed. And I also have like mixed in between those small um, cutie tooties, also from the same line. Really like how they look with their long lashes. Um, and here are like, like these are probably my my, my favorite uh, Generation Four ponies. Those really colorful ones that are not just the main six always, but some other random characters. Uh, in the back there are two bigger ones. They are not really the fashion si fashion style sized ones. They're just big, you know, a big um, sea pony. Um, Pinkie Pie and another big rarity from the flea markets, so some other sea ponies. And in the next row, uh, we are already hit with my Generation 3 ponies, which I also, I never said like, oh yeah, now I collect Generation 3 ponies. It's, it's just happening. You find them at flea markets, people give them to you, and I really like them. I actually want to make a video about like why Generation 3 ponies are awesome. Um, but I kind of uh, tried to, like here I have three of those cabinets. I tried to arrange them um, by color. So that um, means that they're like in the back, all the white ones, then it gets into like grayish. Then here we've got gray, blue and blue. It starts with pink. Um, then it continues there with pink. Gets a little bit hotter pink, like, more vibrant pink into the turns into the red and then yeah there's my telephone but <laughs> um, uh, red and orange orange to yellow and then again there's more like the purple pinkish ones and it turns into purple and really hot pink purple and um, the bottom row is are my only um, generation 3.5 ones which yeah never is never no nobody is really a fan of them me neither so i just have a couple that i found at flea markets so yeah here are some um or well, the only ones that i have from the um, ponyville so this is also belonging to generation 3 and also generation 3.5 so that was um like all like the kind of the blind bags that most of them were not blind bags um here's my only breezy that i have and I, I was lying, so not only here, but also here we've got some more pony builds. Um, this row are the only baby-sized uh, brushables from Generation 3 that I have. I don't know, there aren't so many babies and... Or I just don't find them. <laughs> yeah. And on top there are some of my larger plush toys, which I'm not really super... Uh, collecting but all of them at flea market so Popple and this doodle bear and this other doodle um, pet there so in general this uh, shelf hasn't changed much or at the side I have three nice postcards with beautiful pony art from uh, premium pommes and okay let's get to the middle which I think just uh, concerning my last collection a tour this was different still but you've seen that like over and over again in my background and um, this is actually like this um, compartment here was actually closed so there was another just like a door um, but I thought I can use this uh, place better for displaying um, toys and I had my Polly Pockets in there at first on, on several like shelf risers but that looked kind of wonky and wasn't even enough for my Polly Pockets um, so I decided to make this the shelf where I put like the more larger toys that I have so some dolls, some plush and 
some others. So let's let's start. Right in the back, you see there is um, the horse from Rainbow Bride. So um, Starlight, and on top of that. <laughs> A My Little Pony because I thought they look so good. That's Bouquet from the Brush and Grow Ponies. And also I have done her hair so nice. Like when you when you maybe go back to one of my very first pony unboxings. Oh no, now the thingy falls down. Um, she had like the worst hair ever. And at that time I didn't know how to restore it very well. But now I re re like did my uh, pony hair storing, uh, hair restoring method and she looks now so good. But I think she just, like the color combination just works. They look so cute together, so probably will always have her there, not with my ponies. Then I have like three dolls, all I found at flea market. So the um, uh, Little Miss Singing Mermaid. This is a Little Miss Magic Jewels. Cannot see her that well um, behind there. And in the middle is a PJ Sparkles. So both of them work. <laughs> And I won't make her sing now, <laughs> but uh, and she's also very hard to to display. So there is a like I don't know a riser back, like a see-through one where she's leaning against that she always falls over because you know she's got a mermaid tail. Maybe I just ah oh, yeah there you can see. And the mermaid tail actually is like it's not uh, straight to the bottom, so it's wonky. So she always falls over, kind of hard to display doll. And yeah, I always say I do not collect dolls, but when I run across these cuties, I mean, she is like in the back because I don't think that she's so special. She's missing so many pieces. That's why she's more in the back. Behind my favorite plush toy, this is Hoppy, my childhood um, favorite plush toy ever. Uh, I have him since, I don't know, I'm a toddler or something. So I love having him now in my like, adult toy collection because he's one of the rare like uh, toys that I have from my childhood. I mean not he's not rare because I don't even know he's just a generic rainbow bunny with rainbow stripes on her his ears on the belly. And um, here in the front I have like all of my um, snuggle bumps so um, mama, uh, papa, brightly and then two of the snuggle pets there. Um, in the middle there's a popple. I just think they look very good together. It's a flower popple. Daisy I think the name is. And here I have the only three little um, puppy surprise pups, pets, what, what are they called? Babies. Puppy surprise babies. I found a flea market so that's like a range of different things. And if you go up there, there is like my Toy Story collection because I'm like this is something else. It's not like vintage toys. I'm also a huge Disney fan and I'm a huge Toy Story fan because that kind of combines my most favorite things, like two of my most favorite things, which is like toys and and Disney. Um, but honestly, I don't like how it looks in there between all those pastel ponies and and other toys and then those colorful, bright, colorful like newer toys. So I don't know. Maybe I want to use this space in the future for like my vintage toy collection and get those over to my other room Which is my like sleeping room and where I have my my sewing place and stuff like that So that would be an option for now. They're okay there But there are some that are like vintage. I have two trolls. I mean, this is not really Toy Story but uh, this one I think in the first Toy Story there's a pink haired troll and this one I have more because of Rings of the Galaxy <laughs> and then here is also, this is a vintage Jurassic Park um, Pteranodon and it's part of the first Toy Story movie as well. So I have them there, same as these um, toy soldiers here. They are not really like branded Toy Story, they are just normal toy soldiers that I found um, at a flea market. But this is like just, you know, Primark, it's from Disney World, Disney World and you know the typical ones, Buzz, Jesse, Woody. Um, Forky and Gabby Gabby as a, um, as a Funko Pop. Behind the green alien here, I have all of my vintage toy, um, you know, ugh, pamphlets. Some of them I have showed you, you know, the snuggle bums, the rainbow bride here. Uh, some of them I have not, like here I have keepers and I don't know what else. Ugh, cupcakes. 
So some of them I want to show you in a dedicated video, but I haven't like um, been talking about those yet. But now let's get to um, like my main my main display. That's like my favorite part of my toy collection, which is my uh, vintage My Little Pony shelves. It's not all. I have some ponies somewhere else, but this is like the biggest chunk of it. So um, let's start at the top where I just have like two puzzles there. Um, I have one like this is my um, childhood My Little Pony puzzle from the Princess Ponies. I mean, it's not the one I had as a child, but I had this one and I recently got it back. So um, not back, I mean, I bought it just from someone else. And there's a Lady Lovely Dogs puzzle. And um, for now I have the space up there, so I want to display them. It's such cute art, so I love that. Um, and here is like the first like shelf of ponies, which is the one I put all my um, collector's post ponies in. Uh, so all of them, not just the main, the first six, but also the playset ponies are like PG and um, or the other ones like bow tie in this post. So behind them actually are my two boxed um, like 35th anniversary ponies or like the you know the ones um, from from Basic Fun which you can't really get over here. It's not that you walk into a Target or something and get them. These stores don't exist here. So I bought them online, but honestly, I'm not a big fan of those reboot ponies. I don't not need them, but I keep those in the box. That's okay. Um, then I tried to arrange the ponies a little bit by, I don't know, different things by topic, some of them by colors and most of them obviously by set. But this compartment here, is where I have like more of the like earlier ponies. So uh, except for the second set rainbow ponies, which I had to put somewhere else because there was no more space in there. So like in the back, you can see ponies like um, Heartthrob, Surprise, and Bowtie, and Applejack, those. Then here we've got like Posies and um, Skyflyer or um, Hopscotch, you know, those ponies that are like from the earlier years. Um, then here I have like the, set, the first set rainbow ponies. There you can see them. One of the sec second set rainbow ponies mixed in because I have a, a double. And um, Majesty with Spike. And then always at the front row um, there are baby ponies. So this is like the first set of baby ponies over here and some of the playset ponies. By the way, I still have my double ponies in my collection. So I don't have them like in bins or somewhere. They're still in there. Um, as long as I have enough space, I want to keep it that way and not have like some ponies just somewhere in bins. I would be very sad about just having them, or, or, even though they are doubles. And if you're um, asking yourself how I did those like stairs, let's take some off. There are handmade um, like shelf risers, shelf risers <laughs> made out of cardboard behind there. So one, two, three. Um, I have a dedicated video where I did them, so I can link it down below. Um, I did that for all of them, so, and some of them you can see it better, you know, because it's not so full, but here you definitely can't see that. And I'm okay with having them cardboard um, colored still, because I also don't have a white, um, like, um, I don't have white shelves or so, so it's the same color. So Then the next shelf is like, I try to do it that these, this is the shelf with the most colorful ponies. Um, so. Most of them like these super neon ponies. Like in the back, we have two of the roller skate ponies. We have the tropical ponies. Then here we've got my favorite, um, my favorite pony, and um, the rock and beat ponies. Okay, some some miscellaneous ones always in between because I don't have a set dedicated to them. It's also one of my sparkle ponies here. Um, by the way, I won't uh, tell you now all the names and stuff because it's, it's my videos are already long enough. <laughs> um, here I have the full set. I mean, these are like full sets sometimes, so. Um, of the um, Dancer Prince ponies, they look so good displayed like this. Two doubles still in there, you know. Here, these are doubles, you can see it. These are the same. Um, but as I said, that looks so good, I don't want to take them out, why should I? Then some colorful baby ponies, you know, some of the Starlight baby ponies, and some of the Sparkle baby ponies, which is like, this is the European, set version. This is the American set version. None of them is complete. Uh, here are some of my baller baby ballerina ponies. 
So the next uh, shelf or in the next cabinet here, like in the back, you can see uh, my Twinkle Light ponies, and like there, at the left, there's the uh, Christmas pony, and on the right, there's one, one, one single pony. Like sometimes when I have just one pony of a set, then it's cramped into like some of the other sets. Uh, one of the precious pocket ponies. So um, this here is like the full set of the um, first set of. Um, Twice as fancy ponies. I love them. I have both versions of Milky Way, so the bitter version and the white European version. Then here we've got my princess ponies, uh, five of the six from the first set. I just started collecting the set like a couple of months ago and I'm already just missing Princess Serena. I can't wait uh, till I get her because then the set will go somewhere else. Um, here is a set I just recently started because I had it both of them in a lot. The um, the best Sunday ponies, Sunday best, I always mix it up, best Sunday, no, Sunday best ponies, just two of them, and then here in the front, most of my um, newborn babies, so this is the newborn baby pony set, a full set, two, one of them is like double, and then three of my first two baby ponies, and here's also baby stockings, Christmas baby pony. Okay, the next row, the next row um, is like in the very ba back there are my sunshine ponies. Probably when it's getting summer, I will get them like somewhere else again because I changed it most of the time. Like it doesn't stay like this all the time. Um, but now there's like the holiday, like summer holiday pony, Meriwether and the sunshine ponies and mama and daddy um, bright bouquet. Then the next row is actually all Europe exclusive ponies I just uh, like a uh, thought of that. So there are three of the school time ponies, two of the um, two of the cookery ponies, and then one of the makeup ponies and one of the flower ponies. And this row is like one that I absolutely adore. So here on the left you have um, some of my, well not some of my, so all of my flutter ponies. Just one of them has wings, but I really want to get replacement wings for all of them. So like. Uh, not the real ones, obviously, really hard to find the real wings. So um, there are definitely stores out there who um, make them um, new. And here are my sweetheart sister ponies from two sets. So the glittery ones uh, mixed up with the, the ones with the flower symbols. So the normal sweetheart sister ponies. I love them. They look so good together. And there's Daddy uh, Apple Delight <laughs> uh, without any of his companions but I have at least a sister now, but she's not uh, ready for shelf yet. Um, and again, in the first row, baby ponies. Here are four, like all of like the um, this uh, teeny tiny baby pony set, one of the drink and wet, and uh, yeah, no baby ponies, but you know, the flutter ponies. They're small enough to go in the front here. So this uh, cabinet here is still pretty new. I. I don't know, I had some other things in there, sometimes my Generation 2 ponies or so, but these shelf risers are very new because I had to expand uh, and like the other um, like units there, they were not able to get any more ponies. I was not able to get any more ponies crammed in, so like this is not fully what I wanted yet, but in the back there are just three of my brides and one of my double princess ponies. Um, in the middle here, on the right hand side, there are my two talking ponies, then three of my sweet berry ponies, and why is this pony like to the other side? Like why is it showing us his um, or her flank? It's because I definitely also want to show it to you. It was in my last um, big pony haul and it's one of the magic message ponies where like the cutie mark was like completely gone. and. I repainted it. I really love it. That's why I, I have it displayed like this so I can see my work of art. I don't know. Uh, this is like the original cutie mark and this is the one I painted. I think it looks pretty okay. So pretty legit. That's why I have her like this right now. It won't be like this always, but for now it, I love it. So here in the like front adult pony row, these are all of my second uh, set, so third year rainbow ponies. You definitely can see that from above when you can see all the hair. I love that set, one of my favorites. Um, not entirely happy here because it actually should go way up there with the early ponies, but I don't know. It, it there was no way to 
put it in there. Then the front row, some baby ponies. I have just two of the um, fancy pant baby ponies, or this in, this in the German or in the Europe set. The the um, playtime baby brother ponies were included, so this is kind of they belonged into the set. And one of the family ponies, just the boy from the um, sweet celebrations. And then, because I have no idea where to put them, uh, my only four uh, petite ponies or piccolo ponies in the front row as well. So, and this very bottom um, compartment there, um, it's super small and you, you can't really see it that well, so that's why I just put in um, my fakies. So these are all of my fakies in there. I don't know if you can even see most of them because I'm not a fakie collector. I usually do not really like them. Oh, one of my Chopkins there. Um, this one I really love because it's, um, it glows in the dark, so whenever I put all the light out and go out of the room when I'm going sleeping, then this still like glows very nice, so, yep. And some of the Barbie accessories and stuff like that that don't really have a place. If you are like wondering why um, I have these things here, these cables, <laughs> that's because this, these are my lights that light up my um, toy shelves at night. I have them amongst like here, all of this compartment with the ponies. And then at this, also at this um, bookcase shelf uh, with the newer toys. Not yet in the middle because it was not quite long enough to also do it here because I actually also want to have it here because it looks really good at night. Um, it's I will show it to you when it's a little bit darker because right now it's super sunny outside so it doesn't make sense to put it on. Um, it's uh, These are colorful lights. So let's turn to the, to the left and I don't know how to do that without always having the lights in the reflection, but I will open it up anyways. So at first, these are also from, um, not also, but because this is not Ikea, this is just this whole um, like shelving unit here used to be in my parents' living room and when they got a new one, I, I just got this, so it's very old. I have no idea where it's from. I also obviously have a compartment here with, I have books, so, and, here I have, I don't know, crafting or no, these are the cables, nail polish thingies, whatsoever, cosplay props. Oh, this is like, it's not a, it's just a cosplay, Star Wars cosplay prop. Stuff like this I have in here. And these, that's what I wanted to say, these are from Ikea. I think this one is out of production now because I got one of the last ones. Oops. Um, but it's, it's not together, you know? It's like this one is up on the wall and this one is just located at the bottom here. Um, this is my pony expansion shelf, <laughs> you could say. Um, what I don't like is that it has a mirror on the back. Didn't didn't like realize that when I bought it, I mean, maybe I would have bought it anyways, because it doesn't really like, I don't know, it reflects too much from the, from the rest of the room, but I'm, I'm still okay with it. Um, here I put all of the ponies and pony sets that are like more special to me or are more special at the moment. So for example, when I completed a set, like for example, the um, I have Brush and Grow Princesses, I have them here. Or when I'm totally like in love, like right now with all of the um, Big Brother ponies, then I put them here. It's not a completed set, but anyways, I have my favorite, like the um, pony friends in here or the birthday pony, the um, candy cane ponies or for example the uh, merry-go-round ponies here Th then th that's why when I, I put them there and this is something that I change all the time um, whenever like that that's what I meant when I completed the set of the princess ponies probably I will exchange it with the big brother ponies they will go in that other one and then they will come here um, I have all of them on these see-through shelf risers which most of them I got, which like most of them I got like online, like directly as they are. There are shops, like I always get the stuff on eBay, there are shops from um, uh, China that have those, but they are not really 
they don't vary in size so much and sometimes I need a special special sizes and then there are shops from Germany which they are a little bit more expensive but some of the bigger ones I have from German shops on eBay and this one is like kind of self-made because I just ordered a like a, acrylic um, like plate in a specific size that I, I wanted to have it and then I like bent this myself with a um, hot uh, what is it heating gun hot gun whatever it's called I use that also for cosplay and warbler and then you can also like bend them and they stay like this um, why is there always like a gap here in the middle because you know it has these wooden structure here at the doors so in the middle you can't really see what's in there also those should be a little bit more like to the side um, yeah, here I also have like my, um, it's what's one of my Polly Pockets, the Fun Time Clock in this specific color. And I have it there and not with the rest of my Polly Pockets because I use it as a real clock. So I look at it and know the time. So that's why it's there. Well, here's just one of my uh, Fairy Winkles sets. So the Swan it looks beautiful up there. And I put her in there, although she has not yet pink hair. I want to rehair her. She was one in one of my last pony um, unboxings, but the hair hasn't arrived, so that's why I have not rehaired her yet. But I have just styled her hair nice, made it smooth and everything, so she looks good. Why are there so many like combs and brushes always? It's Right now, I don't know where to put all the combs and brushes that I collected. At first, I just had them in this little jar here. It's a see-through jar, but this one exploded and then there was no space for them. And I really want to see them. I just don't want to put them in a box and store them somewhere. Um, so that's why I figured it looks really good to have them laying like amongst the ponies. Not really um, always the combs that belong to the ponies because like with the barnacle here, I have his brush there, but most of the other ones, like, I don't know, this is from a brush and grow pony, or I don't know, here are several combs that are just go to ponies that I don't even have because they're from baby sea ponies. Um, it's just a colorful array of like things lying there. I also have non pony combs, like, here's big Barbie comb, but there are some others, I don't know, wherever I, I don't know, most of them are pony. Or some fakey things like this butterfly hair clip is just a fakey thing. Um, here I have like one of those shelf risers that is made like like it's like stairs. And for, for these units here, I cannot make my own because it would look super stupid in here to have like cardboard shelf risers. That's just possible when there's like um like the same color of wood in the background as it is with the shelf riser, so I always use the see-through ones. Here I have two of the Baby Pony and Pretty Paws set, and here's the full set of the um, Play School Baby Ponies. Um, lucky mail order boy pony, and my only um, my only sea pony here. I don't have a shell shell for this one, so it, it stands up really well there. At the left is my set of the Rainbow Curl ponies. There's, there would be more space for other ponies, so when I would put them like closer to each other. Um, here, Ringlet does not have <laughs> great hair right now, but I have already the um, matching hair colors on hand, so I'm planning on doing a video where I show you how I rehair ponies. So she will be the object of my. Um, pony rehairing video which I'm planning on I don't know since a while but I think she is a good um, a good um, example so let's close the doors and you can see also in there are the lights so that also lights up at night beautifully um, at the top uh, there I have um, all of the things that are not cleaned yet or not that I don't want to put in my shelves right now so this is the left <laughs> what's left uh, right now from from my big pony unboxing that you saw in one of my last videos so that was a two-part video so uh, the ones I have not um, like uh, cleaned or did the hair or whatever and also here one of the lady lovely looks um, maiden curly crown sitting there because I have not done her hair yet I also want to show that to you in a video um, so that's and I have not had 
time to make the video, that's why she's still there. Also some of my lovely lovely clothes in there. So usually if everything's super tidy and ready, 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 then that should be like empty up there. Um, here on this, it's see-through, but it's, uh, it has um, also a glass. Um, sometimes also things are on here. When there's no more space up there, then also things are on here. Uh, right now there's just one pony here, which you haven't seen. Mm, it's the project I'm working on right now. Uh, the thing is, I actually bought this online. I uh, wanted to have it for a like one of the normal like unboxing videos that I'm doing, and I usually open up um, the toy, like the box, to happen to know what's inside a little bit before I put it in the video. But this box, like I opened, and like the the strongest um, like smoke smell ever came uh, towards me. And I realized I cannot leave the pony just in there because the whole pony was like... I never had a pony smelling like um, so horribly like smoke. So it must belong have belonged to a, um, a smoker. And yeah, in really, really bad condition anyway. So cut hair, it was super dirty, so it's not dirty anymore. Uh, all that's left here, things I cannot get off. And body is discolored from head so this is a project I didn't even know if I would be able to put this in my shelves um, because of the smell but it is getting better so I had ha I have had her like two days at my balcony out in the like cold and in the fresh air and then I washed her for a very long time um, and now I have put like uh, lots of like shea butter uh, like you know lotion on her and she actually is a scented pony so she's also from the sweetberry ponies that's raspberry jam and um, so I what I figured is that the smoke smell had mixed up with her own like scent and that made up a very horrible smell that's why she she kept uh, on smelling this horribly but now she actually smells more like the lotion that I put on her and mix with her own scent so there's no smoke smell left but hair I want to redo and I also want to um, like try to like bleach you know this body to the head um, color so anyways I just wanted to explain it to you and that this pony won't show up in any um, pony haul or unboxing maybe in a haul when I finish her or so um, here this big thingy here houses my Polly Pockets, um, other kind of compact toys and my LPS. So this top part here and the bottom part has Lady Lovely Locks and other ponies. Let's get a little bit in detail here. Let's open it up. So right now I love it. It looks very nice but like this I cannot put anything else in there anymore so that's also one of the reasons why I did not get any Polly Pockets recently I think the last ones like I don't know the last one I found that was this one at a flea market and uh, before that online it's like half a year ago so because I have no idea where to put them so I have ordered new Polly Pockets but um, <sighs> so with these I know I have to rearrange it completely so the next time it will look differently. I think I definitely have to take out the LPS here. So these are modern LPS. I find them at the flea market all the time. Um, and there are some other things. There's also Mimi and the Goo Goos, yeah, two Tamagotchi, not really Tamagotchi, they're called Hitoriko. Um, and the big problem is that I have like compacts Polly Pocket Compacts, which I actually love more, like for example the um, Fairy Light Wonderland or the Star Bright Dinner or one of the Pet Parades ones, like these are like my, my favorites here, one of the book ones, the Glitter Island, like literally I think one of my favorites. Um, but I also have Polyville, so you see the houses, the big light up magical mansion, stuff like that. And it's difficult to display them like next to each other and then <laughs> they also don't look very good like completely together so I think I want to take out here the Polyville things 
need to put them somewhere else and rearrange the um, poly pockets that are compact more close together maybe also in a um, nail polish rack that would be the best the biggest problem is this huge set I don't really uh, remember what it's called but it's basically basically this huge like flower shaped thing oval it goes right into the back all of this belongs to the set and it is even bigger than the actual um, like unit here because I can't um, move this the other side um, the the glass because it, it doesn't go further than this it's difficult with the left hand but you know you see this I can't get it over here that's why I can never open the left side and um, yeah whenever I have to th put things in there I literally have to go like this behind I can never get in here because I can't open the other door completely um, so I need to get this somewhere else but this is so huge it doesn't fit in any other like it doesn't fit into the Billy bookcases it didn't fit into the detail from from Ikea I actually wanted to have those but it also completely didn't fit in there because it is so huge I don't know should I like sell it or <laughs> because I want to keep it I found it in a flea market this big huge Polly pocket play set um, you know there are some others there's a princess and the flowers set um, Mimi and the Goo Goo's here um, and on this side more um, compacts um, also there's this, this one this lime green one behind the heart is a Pokemon compact so not Polly pocket but lots of um, things here this one I have double the blue one I found this one at a flea market as well here and it was super discolored and I tried to um, get the discoloration off with the same method I discolored like ponies that are like discolored um, and it worked as you can see it's not yellowish anymore but it worked too well I left it out in the Sun too much and then you can see here the difference here is the real blue color this is like too light I left it out too long it's not a problem because I found it at a flea market for five euro and I wanted to use this as a tryout. Now I know it works with Polly Pockets but I have, you also have to be careful because it can this color also too light so that's why I probably like I don't know if I will be able to like just sell it or something or I just keep it as a reminder <laughs> that you should be careful. So the right side here is oh uh, wait I, I forgot to tell you that um, you also have some vintage Littlest Pet Shops and some other things like here is a, a um, Digivice you know stuff like that that I found at flea markets and I think they look good and I love it it looks good but I also know that there is no more space for anything so I need to rearrange it but for now it's okay down below here uh, on the right hand side definitely is my Lady Lovely Locks collection not everything's in there because I have not finished like cleaning and everything so for example most of the um, pixie tails are not yet in there and stuff like that but the prince is ready <laughs> um, and I've changed her dress and um, here are some of the here I do it the same way like the brushes and or combs just laying at the bottom um, my only um, hide and peaks here's silky pop silky mane here are the curly kittens and they they match really well but they are not lady love looks you know they are little pretties I wish to, I had more my only um, fairy tale bird some fakey kitties and puppies uh, some fake elephants fakey glow friend so kind of a lot of fakies right uh, here in the front this is a cupcake doll I don't really like them. This will probably be the only one that I have. She's really like incomplete. No clothes and no hat. So, but for now it's okay. At least I have just one from this toy line. That's enough for me. Actually, I do not really like them. But yeah, you know, palace pet stuff like that. That really does not belong in anything. And here are now my um, generation two ponies. I do not have so many, but. Those I have, I, I think they look right now, they look good in there. Um, this side, the left side, actually had all of my keepers and um, some other things like um, 
some dolls like my cherry Mary muffin doll stuff like that um, I have now a new shelf for those you will see that in a minute or a couple of minutes um, that's why this looks a little bit like empty right now but it's good that it looks empty so I have space to put more things in here also at the front because there's nothing in the front right now um, and probably my Lady Lovely Locks collection also will expand so then all the stuff will go to there so it's good that it looks a little bit empty right now because there will be new things that I have to add here so yeah to the left of this, both of these, I have two shelves and like three shelves, you could say, that are not typically like what you expect from me, like no ponies, no like vintage girls toys. Uh, this is my Star Wars Funko Pop collection. Um, I really like them. I, I'm just not a huge, huge Funko Pop collector. Whenever there are like Star Wars characters made into Funko Pops that I really like, and that look really good, like, you know, colorful aliens, stuff like that, that I really like. I get them and I add them, so it is quite a lot already. Um, but it's not that I'm super informed, like, which pops are, like, like new and blah, blah, blah. So, and most of them I actually got more or less at conventions, and there are no conventions right now, so uh, I do not add many, <laughs> but still here is also more Star Wars because as I said I'm a Star Wars fan it's just not my completely my aesthetic I don't know I like it more when my room looks you know colorful pink and I don't know this just to me it makes my like aesthetic heart more um, happy than these Star Wars toys that are mostly the characters are like brown and like I don't know gray all those colors that's why i tend to get like concerning funko pops for, funko pops for example the more colorful ones but i have a small collection of three and three quarter inch star wars figures some of them are like vintage like these three all the rest are more from episode one like 99 until like kind of newish ones like they think this is the newest one from star wars resistance um, most of them are like Clone Wars and um, prequels era because this is my favorite uh, era of Star Wars. I got into Star Wars through the prequels and the Clone Wars is literally my favorite thing from Star Wars. So some the Clone Wars figurines are also the best ones concerning like the joints and everything. This Ventress, I love her. Um, a couple of clones. Um, some of them I found at flea markets. Some of them I, most of them I got at conventions. And some I found also like in stores or like, you know, but none of them are, some of them I even bought online, yeah. One row above, more of the, like more, you would, I mean, you could say Star Wars is more of boyish toy line. I mean, not really, there are thousands of, millions of girls that are fans of Star Wars, so me included. But, you know, concerning color-wise, it goes more into the, I love like boyish toys and I also collected some vintage boy toys that you can see more here. Um, just displayed them here because I think they look good with like the Star Wars things. I have a couple of Dino Riders, a couple of Jurassic Park things, um, uh, Street Sharks, stuff like that, Masters of the Universe and then, I mean this is Star Wars again. There's actually kind of a Polly Pocket set inside, I mean, Polly Pocket, it's not Polly Pocket, but some small, it's like a compact thing, miniature. Then some Star Wars um, Black Series here, over here, there, Jin, K2, Ahsoka, etc. And some Lego minifigures. I'm not a fan of Lego. I mean, I like the concept. I loved doing Lego when I was a child, but I don't like displaying Lego things, so these are just three of my favorite Star Wars characters. Period. I got them. I have them. It's okay. And here are my biggest Star Wars figurines, like um, Ahsoka and a, you could say it's vintage, um, Queen Amidala from episode one. So really beautiful line of dolls, super intricate clothing and everything, super detailed. This one not so much, it's pretty new. So. At least you have seen that I also have a collection going on here. And down here you see lots of boxes. 
This is always where I put the boxes that I haven't unboxed. So there are more toys in there. One is over there. This is actually not, this is a shelf riser. You know, this is how they look where I put the ponies on. This is one that had the wrong size, so maybe I can use it in the future. I don't know. No one really sees what's in there. <laughs> this is still from Christmas. I forgot to put it away, but I like, I like the old. And right above here, my couch. This is my newest shelf, so I need to get onto my couch so you can see it better. It is like um, a shelf that goes like in the corner of a room, like a corner shelf. Um, it's quite nice because it's like a zigzag one, but you, you can't put more on it. It just looks a little bit more interesting. And I made a lot of shelf risers for those because otherwise it would just be one flat thing where you can put toys and the most toys that I have are not like this huge that I fill up the complete uh, space. If you, if I had more dolls than bigger like Barbie sized dolls you could put there but otherwise I always need these shelf risers. I, these, these I also um, like put some paper around, some brown like wrapping paper things to match also the color, not completely matching, but I kind of like it. So let's start from the bottom actually. I just have three of the brush and grow ponies on here because I didn't know where to else to put them and also it looked pretty empty, so I just put them there. In general, this thing is most where I put all of the keepers and of some of the other toy lines that I don't have so much and that just look good together. So. As I said, some ponies. This is the keepers, baby keepers bear. Here's a McDonald's Barbie. And now it starts with Cherry Mary Muffin. 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 So I have them spread out across here because I think they look really good in there amongst the keepers. Some of the Cherry Mary Muffin accessories. Um, or here is a boxed um, Kenner Lilith Pet Shop, so vintage. Then Cherry Mary Muffin again. I also try to arrange them like color-wise a little bit because here is more the blue and, and purplish area. This is actually a little secret. I would love to get more of those, but I never find them. Not even online. It might also be that most people don't know what they are called because there are other toys that are like named pretty similar, like a little, little Miss, for example, and this is Little Secrets. And then there are other toys, like newer toys that are something with secrets little secret something, I don't know. There are very many toy lines called similar. Can I never see the, those? But anyways, um, keepers, baby keepers horse and my collection of big keepers horses. <laughs> uh, it's actually always the same. So it's diamond, diamond, diamond. This one in the middle is the music, gold music keepers pony. Nice, um, like a uh, color variant of this one. So. Why not? The other ones, I have so many because I find, found most of them. Like one that I got at a convention and two of them I found at flea markets and thrift stores. Um, there is the matching uh, finder, one brush. So I also like tend to keep the accessories not separate but with the toys. So for example, this is um, Betty Berry, Cherry Mary Muffin first set. Complete, not, not, not complete, but complete because her muffins are missing, but she has her companion and her, uh, her um, comp. So, as well as Cherry Mary Muffin together with her muffins here and her head, so that, that always goes together. Cherry Mary Muffin with her little thing. By the way, the top part is missing, but anyways, with a small cherry. Um, I have nothing for um, Chocolati. And here, for, for this girl, um, I don't even have the correct dress, but for now, this looks nice, I think. And that's actually it for now, because my plan on expanding would be turning these shelves here, which have now just my DVDs and Blu-rays, uh, into toy shelves. Um, here I always have like my mannequin. And Sometimes I put a cosplay which is new on there. Oh, right now I just have a nice colorful dress which I did not wear enough in the summer. That's why I put it there and like, you know, but 
definitely there. And I have another shelf that I could put in this corner. Probably I would put my, like this lamp at the other side over there. And then I would have like another like corner to put another shelf. So there are ideas how to expand, but for now it is like this miscellaneous with like keepers, Terry Mary Muffin, etc. Star Wars and boys toys, vintage, Star Wars, Star Wars Funko, favorite ponies, Polly Pocket LPS, Lady Lovely Locks, miscellaneous and generation two ponies, generation one ponies, miscellaneous bigger toys and dolls, um, Toy Story, then a big plush G4 ponies, blind back G4, G4 and sparkly critters, Poopsie Slime Surprise, G3, G3, G3 and G3.5. This is my display. Um, anything else I wanted to tell you? I, yeah, just because I never have like an opportunity to really show or tell you, some of the ponies I got in recent uh, pony hauls like had cut hair or just cut forelocks or stuff like that. And I already uh, redid that. For example, here, um, she had like the whole forelock until until the hair, until the ears um, was missing, was just super cut, super short. I rehaired this part, got a very good replacement color, which is like, you can't even see the difference, but it's rehaired partially. Or I did it with her, I found her at a flea market, um, all like until the like, back of, behind her ears um, was missing. I don't have the glitter, but, and I did not want to cut a forelock, so that's why I just have her like this. There you can see the difference a little bit between the two different purple tones. I'm okay with that. At least she has a forelock again. <laughs> what, which pony did I? Ah, oh, yeah, I did it with um, baby, um, baby Quackers. She um, also had a cut forelock. Got the correct color on hand and just rehaired the forelock. Very nice. Or with her, I did not rehair her or anything, but I wanted to show you her gorgeous hairstyle. <laughs> um, her hair is really was really crappy. Um, I did my best to restore it, but the ends of her mane were really crappy, not nice. But like this, this is a good tip. If you have a pony you don't want to rehair or you really can't get the hair like at the ends smooth again, do it like this. It looks fabulous and you don't see the ends. <laughs> Oh, this is also a good example here where I have the accessories with the ponies. So the ponies wearing their school bags and in their school bags when I have the matching comb it's in there. So um, I think that's it. So yeah that's it. I hope you liked um, this collection room tour. By the way whenever you see like light etc I know that some people are really like determined on you should never expose your toys to the light. You always have to like double down on like um, like black curtains before your windows, etc., etc. As I said, I don't have a dedicated collection room. I'm living in that room, and um, that's why. I mean, I try to get the light out like right now when 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 it really gets into. Um, on the toys but that's also why I have the modern toys here and not the vintage ones because this is the shelf that gets most light then the ponies in here not really sometimes the lady lovely locks and um, Polly pockets get light but then I just hang one of those blankets <laughs> in the front because I'm not that like uh, like worried 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 <laughs> but when I see that they get lots of light and I'm just like Nyeh put it there. Um, in the summer, when right now it's winter, you know, it's February. In the summer, um, all of my like light gets out because I have three big trees in the front of my windows. So I literally don't get any light, which is also not that nice because 
love the sun so I don't get sun in the summer in here it's only in the winter and in the winter most of the time we don't have much sun but it's a very sunny Sunday today so that's why it also does not make sense to show you the lights right now but I figured it would be nice to close the video with a tour of my toy shelves like at night enjoy that thank you for watching the video um, Subscribe if you want to see more of my collection, more of what I get, like unboxings and also sometimes I do a little bit more history, stuff about My Little Pony, about the magazines, um, about pony poses, stuff like that I have done. So I will also showcase some of the finished pony sets that I have and um, stuff like that, other toys. And in between I will always sprinkle some cosplay content probably when I have new things to show you. Um, so thank you. See you real soon. May the force be with you. Bye.